Hey guys, it's Ben Delaroche here from Dreambox. I just want to give you guys a really quick run through of the visualization software that's out there so that you can use it in your architecture firm or wherever you may be. Um, I think it's really hard to understand what's actually available. So I just kind of want to distill that down into things like quality, price, um, support, how long it takes to actually get an image, um, just so it's really easy to understand and hopefully that's of some value to you guys. So um, yeah, I know you're gonna you're losing a lot of sleep on this, so I want you want you guys to get some rest. So here we go. Um, first, I just want to distill these into some categories. First of all, we've got like so the all-in-one packages, um, things like Onscape, Lumion, Twinmotion, Atlantis. You've no doubt uh, either using one of these or heard of the others. Um, but these are your all-in all-in-one solutions, the out-of-the-box options. Uh, they come with their own asset libraries, things like trees, people, furniture. Um, so it's all there for you. You just import your project, um, insert your people, and you're away laughing. Um, so really quick to use, often quite cheap, um, and they produce an image that does the trick 95% of the time. Um, so these are the ones that you guys will probably be using mostly. Um, and then we've got the specialist rendering, things like V-Ray and Unreal, for example. There's a lot of others. There's uh, Corona, Redshift, Octane. All of them can produce amazing images. There's just slight variations between them. Um, Unreal being the most difficult to use, but probably the uh, best result. Um, they often comboed with things like 3ds Max and Maya and uh, programs that aren't directly rela related to architecture. Uh, however, um, it has been known for them for people to use them in house. So I thought I'd go over them anyway, just to see, just in case you're curious. Um, first, we've got Onscape, really easy to use. Um, the plugs into pretty much uh, pr plugs into all of all the main softwares, including ArchiCAD and Revit. Um, incredibly easy to pick up because all of the actual modeling and um, the manipulation of the geometry is all done within your native CAD program, being Revit, ArchiCAD, SketchUp, whatever it might be, and then it's just projected into Onscape. Um, so this means there's not a lot of training, you pick it up really quick, and it's incredibly fast as well. So you can get a decent image out of it, change the time of day, whatever it might be, um, and you can do that really quickly. It's pretty affordable, about $70 per month per seat. Um, However, you are looking at sort of the lower spectrum as far as quality, but for a lot of firms, that does the trick. And all you're trying to do is actually just communicate the form um, and get the basic point across. So that's, um, that'll more than do that, I would say. Then we've got something like Lumion, uh, very similar um, in that it, it combos with a different screen and that you, you do your geometry in Revit um, and that's going to come into Lumion in the same spot with uh, perhaps, and perhaps you put some geometry, uh, some landscape around it with some trees, it has some great, has some great assets. Um, just like a lot of these programs, the asset libraries don't include a lot of New Zealand um, New Zealand assets, so you're not going to see a lot of New Zealand native trees, unfortunately. However, if you're creating sort of a um, just a generic scene, they're absolutely great. Um, you can fill that out really quick. It is really expensive at um, sort of $5,000 for the Lumion Pro version, um, and you are going to want the Lumion Pro because Lumion standard um, doesn't actually, has a lot of the assets locked, um, so it means it's actually not that useful, um, as we discovered. Um, so yeah, you are going to want to get Lumion Pro, in it, so that's a big upfront cost. However, it's a great program and it is improving in quality all the time. Um, yeah, again, re relatively easy to get an image and has, you know, mid-range support as far as what it can plug into, and um, as far as getting help when you when you're stuck. Twin Motion, uh, it is often compared with Lumion as far as quality, so uh, very similar. Um, however, Twin Motion has actually just been bought by Epic Games. Um, Epic Games is one of the is uh, the owner of Unreal Engine, um, which is you know you're going to find that sort of fifty percent of the high end games are made on Unreal, um, so it's an incredibly powerful um, engine. And the fact that Twin Motion has just been bought by it means that you're going to see some big changes in Twin Motion in the next two years, I would say. Um, so I think Twin Motion is going to get really good. Here's an image that we've already done already, um, and you know that was put together relatively quickly. I think you can see one of Ewan's videos to see how he put that together, but very easy to achieve. Um, and yeah, similar to Lumion, or except that it's free. 
Um, and you know, me being a frugal man, that's a pretty much a winner for me. So if you're picking between Twin Motion and Lumion, as far as that's the quality you felt you needed, I'd go with Twin Motion. Atlantis, haven't had a lot, with, a lot of experience with it myself, but it's very mid-range as far as uh, a lot of your options go. Um, you know, very easy to use, um, similar to Lumion and Twin Motion in that. Um, a little bit more expensive, and it's a 1150 well, uh, for per seat. Uh, I think it's uh, mostly European based, so the support is uh, can be a little bit um, tricky at times. Um, and you, yeah, you're looking at quality, which is perhaps just below um, a lot of those programs. However, it does the trick again. Um, if you are using Atlantis, I recommend you check out Onscape. It does a very similar job, and it's potentially even easier. Um, so yeah, worth a look, I'd say. Now we're looking at the specialist renders, renderers. Um, again, you're not going to need these renderers a lot of the time because they are um, really tricky to use and they take a lot of training um, and it's quite a different skill set. V-Ray is one of these programs. It's a program we use here at Dreambox. It plugs into uh, things like 3ds Max and Maya. Um, you're going to get the best results out of this without a doubt you know these are this is sort of the world-class quality of rendering however it's not always necessary for 95 percent of your guys projects i'd say that um it, you're only going to need things like v-ray for um large developments or really when you're gonna you know impress someone um it is very affordable you know 750 dollars i think that's a year um and yeah so i mean that's per seat pretty good um takes a long time to get a render out compared to uh, a lot of those other programs but the support is incredible because it's been around for so long um it plugs into and uh, works with a lot of these other programs really seamlessly um so that's the big bonus of v-ray um and yeah we really love it here um however i yeah it would be a tricky thing to use in house i imagine and it takes a lot of time which brings us on to unreal so Unreal is perhaps the uh, ultimate example of that in that it gives you quality that is hard to differentiate between that and reality. Like you are getting some incredible stuff out of Unreal, including um, some, in, some VR walkthroughs and things like that. There's some people doing some incredible in innovations with that stuff at the moment. Um, and it's you know very affordable in that for ArcVis or architectural visualization, it is absolutely free. Um, their payment structure is based around uh, big games using their engine to uh, create their game and then they get a percentage of their sales of that game. So because we're ArcVis, just you know, um, selling the odd render here and there, it's actually free for us to use. Um, and that's the way Epic Games want, wants it really. They really want um, they really want us to invest into things like Twin Motion and Unreal Engine and become comfortable with using that because I think they're really going to push the whole arc this thing um, strongly soon. Uh, but yeah, it takes a long time to get an image out, uh, but it does have great support. All right, I've got one minute. Let's go through the rest of it really quickly. Usability, Onscape is certainly the easiest to use, um, and I'd recommend that if you want to get something quickly and just get it working right away, really easy to understand. Affordability. I mean, you can't beat free with Twin Motion and Unreal being exactly that. Um, but Onscape and uh, Onscape is certainly you know another option, and Atlantis behind you know in the again very mid range quality. You're not going to beat V-Ray and Unreal and a lot of those high end specialist renderers. However, all these ones will do a, a great job for what you guys need um, if you're just sort of needing to communicate the general build um, or create an image for a client um, that you know it still looks really nice. Speed, again, Onscape, I'd say is the fastest. We used it quite a, for um, a good couple of years there. Um, I used it a lot at Weta Workshop, trying to, um, or doing walkthroughs for exhibitions and changing things on the fly. It's really great for that. Um, but any of those out-of-the-box solutions is really good for speed. Support, um, V-Ray and Unreal, again, have a lot of support because they've been around for the longest, um, which brings us to the end. Um, yeah, so I hope that was really helpful, guys. Um, Please get in touch if you want to know anything more about visualization software. Um, 